In this video, we're discussing five steps to improve your vision. If you have any refraction errors, for example, myopia or farsightness or presbyopia. Let's go. So, there are different techniques, there are different uh, recommendations that you could find on the internet and there are, there are lots of things you should, you, should, you should do and you can do. But we have prepared the five most important things you should do to see better and it will guaranteeedly improve your vision if you have any refraction error. So the first step you should do is to organize very good sleep. It sounds simple, it sounds banal, but it's true. If you don't sleep well, if you don't organize the way how you relax, your tension, your stress, your eye strain is getting more and more obvious, it's getting accumulated, and then it, your vision is worsening because your eyes are the, is the part of your brain. So if your brain, if your mind is overloaded, if it's uh, getting very stressful, then there is no doubt that your vision is getting worse and worse. So how should you organize your sleeping mode? Uh, the first thing you should uh, remember is that you should go to bed uh, not later than 10 or 10.30. PM. So forget about uh, going to bed at midnight, it, it will never uh, benefit your vision. If you even sleep for 8 or 9 hours after, it will not compensate your good way of relaxation. Because the cost, the value of, uh, this, of sleeping is much better, is much higher when you go to bed earlier. Yeah, because of the hormones, uh, because of uh, because of the way how the the nature <laughs> behaves. Just observe how the nature uh, behaves and try to follow the nature rhythm. It will much better for your health and for your eyes. So if you just go to bed uh, earlier than 10 p.m then it will give you much more chances to see better. You can wake up uh, even at 6 or even earlier, that will be fine. Your day will be longer, you can do some things in the morning, you can do uh, your yoga or quigon or some, some other stuff or whatever you do, you, you, you will get a lot more, much more time. And of course, it's no problem if you wake up from 6 to 8, it's fine. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you feel that you need more sleep, that's fine. Uh, also, you should keep in mind that you shouldn't use any gadgets two hours before, this, before sleep. Yeah? So, uh, you should spend this time on uh, uh, hanging out with your friends, with your relatives, with the people you love. You can uh, take a shower, you can go for a walk, but no gadgets, no smartphones, no uh, TV, no laptop. Let your eyes just uh, relax before uh, you are going to bed. And it should be not uh, right away, two hours before sleep. The second uh, step is to do palming. If you haven't heard about this exercise, this is a very simple exercise. You close your eyes, you put the fingers together, you cover your eyes with the palm. The center of your palm is opposite your eye, your uh, elbows are pointed to the sides, and then you fix this position on the table, or you can lie down uh, on the yoga mat. Uh, you stay in this position for at least 10 minutes. Yeah, you can or listen to some relaxing music or you can just don't, you can not move. So your eyes will be relaxing. You can even uh, have <laughs> take a nap, that's fine. But uh, during these 10 minutes, it, you, your, your vision will be more relaxed and you will feel much uh, better if you practice this exercise at least two times a day one time in the afternoon, the other time is before sleep 
or just when you come back from the work. So uh, the next uh, recommendation, the next step is looking far. Of course, of course, you you've heard about it, but you haven't uh, heard that when you're looking far, uh, especially when you're not focusing exactly on some uh, very tiny objects, if you can <laughs> recognize those in, at a distance, uh, your peripheral vision is relaxing. So you're activating your peripheral vision. When you're looking far, when we are, well, when you are not really focused, so your central vision is relaxing, your near vision is relaxing because the near vision is mostly <laughs> used by um, by the by the work on PC. We all uh, have to work on PC a lot. Most of us are working on PC. Most of us are using smartphones, and it overloads. Uh, the central vision and there, apart from the central vision we also have the peripheral vision we should activate it when we are looking far when we are not actually focusing on something particular our vision is getting relaxed we can look at the sky at some nature objects at some, at some trees at the roof of the buildings so it's very relaxing uh, you can use also one interesting way how to relax your vision uh, at a distance you cover one eye you put the uh, pipe the pipe is very simple you can do it uh, using the piece of paper uh, sheet of paper it's blank here the diameter of uh, this paper should be very small uh, approximately the same as the nail of your thumb yeah uh, you never touch the eye uh, with the paper because it can damage your cornea. You just insert it into the fist and just do like this. Yeah. So you're looking far and it's very good for the eyes. Especially you can also use a patch. Yeah. And you can put the tip of your pen to the end of... Uh, the pipe and you will you will be like a sniper you can look through the window look at the people look at the at some objects uh, two or three minutes with one eye and two or three minutes uh, for the other eye it's very relaxing and it will definitely improve your vision if you continue practicing it on a regular basis uh, the next uh, step you should do is uh, observe how you are looking at the objects you cannot see for 100% and when you are tired. It, um, <laughs> to say it in other words, you should avoid narrowing your eyes. You should avoid frowning your eyes. So no eye strain, no uh, stress for the eyes. Um, you, you're, you should train how to see in a relaxed way. So please uh, check if you have this habit or not. Because if you keep narrowing your eyes, if you keep squinting your eyes or frowning your eyes, it will guaranteeedly worsen your vision more and more. So you should uh, get rid of this habit. Yeah, and of course, if you have to wear glasses or lenses, you should uh, you should also stop wearing stop wearing strong glasses or lenses. You should uh, wear at least weak glasses. And of course, glasses are more preferable because lenses uh, you cannot take off the lenses during the day. You you uh, put them you put it in the morning and and put it and take it off in the in the evening but if you wear glasses especially weak glasses you can wear it on some special occasion yeah for example when you feel tired or when you when you're driving a car yeah and then just when you uh, reach the place you get out of the car and just take off your glasses away and your vision will will still be working your eye muscles your ciliary muscles uh, responsible for accommodation will be still working and will be still be trained 
And the last uh, very important uh, step you should do to improve your vision is to uh, relax your vision by uh, doing very simple exercise which is called relaxing wash. You close your eyes, you imagine healing water, you uh, just grasp the water from the imagined lake or sea and just put it on your face. You do it five or ten times when you feel tired and it's very simple so you are training healthy vision behavior if you feel that it's not enough and it will definitely be not enough if you have some eye problems like myopia or farsightness or um, presbyopia especially high uh, refraction arrow like minus three minus four minus five or plus three plus four so in those cases all this exercise won't be enough for you to get the ultimate results so you're very welcome to try our program on our online course and you can try it for free you will you could find the link below in this in, in the description for this video you can uh, sign up for uh, guest subscription and try our uh, classes of vision academy if you like this video uh, please share it with your friends with your relatives uh, press on the bell and subscribe to our channel not to miss uh, the next video cheers bye